AI is not only for the developers anymore. Having technological literacy is the best way to empower yourself. So keep learning. Hello, my name is Olivia and I'm from Korea. Um, I'm currently in Seoul. Um, I work for AI startup um, and Spurb AI as a community growth manager. Uh, my passion for the community started when I worked at the event platform startup as a customer success manager as well as a marketer. Since I worked with developers and wanted to understand them better, I joined the community and fell in love with the communities immediately. Since then, I've been an organizer of so many uh, different communities such as Women Who Code Seoul and ML Ops and Django Girl Seoul and Play With Data. What I love about technology is that it has the power to empower everyone. When I achieved something in that like event, uh, everyone just stopped what they're doing and they clapped for me. I still remember that moment very clearly that I was very supported and empowered by the people. I love the energy and I love that welcoming vibes at first, but then later uh, what I really loved about the community and still love about is that I get to understand the developers better. So back then, they were kind of really just difficult group of people, like difficult to communicate with. But now um, I really respect them because they had a good idea, they, like fancy idea, then like overnight they create something for the better world. So yeah, I support the developer. I really um, continue to working with the developer. When we had difficulties or when we encounter some disaster issues, um, some developers built an app um, to provide the relevant information to people and help them to access to what they need. So if I have that like, ability, then I definitely would like to build an app um, to help the people who are in need. The fact that there is still an area where I can contribute to the communities makes me want to be a better leader in the communities. I have been trying to take some initiatives for more diverse and inclusive communities. I suggested creating code of conduct in a community where I was an organizer. And also I translated a virtual event guideline document in local language to help the event organizers and also Connecting to passionate and inspiring people in the communities is one of the best things that I experience um, in the community. I always feel the imposter syndrome among the like developers. But you know, it's I think it's all about the communication and I also put a lot of effort to understand the technology better. So I actually invest my time during the weekend. Like for four hours a day, I'm learning the technology to be better communicator with the developers and to understand them better. I help people to contribute to and also engage with the community by organizing tutorial workshops and regular online events where the community members gather and grow by learning together. So the first community that I joined was the Django Girls. And I was empowered by the workshop which Django Girls community organized for women and also non techie Everyone welcomed me and I truly realized that it's very important to create a space where anyone can join and gather for the common goal. So I'd like to do with the community is to plan and project manage tutorial workshop or online events for empowering um, people like me. I think when I was a Jane Girls organizer a few years ago, um, we, as an organizer, it was really difficult to source the female speakers um, because we, like on purpose, plan the event only for the women. But it was really difficult 
for us to find the female coaches, the female speakers. And I believe that this is still happening. So that's why I、um, planned the tutorial workshop. So the women、um, came to our event and they learned、um, the technology. And then this is the kind of became the seed that、um, they can be、uh, like coaches or、um, speakers in our like, upcoming other events、um, for the women developers. Still, the gender equality is the difficulties that we face、um, in the tech world. I think women in code,、um, we are、um, helping to change that as a community. I hope to see、um, the Korean communities care about the diversity and inclusion more. I still see a lot of events where the only male speakers are on the stage or When they publish their like, online recordings、uh, without subtitle. So, I wish that、um, as a community leaders, we can take care of more about the DNI measure to have more inclusive communities. And I, I definitely believe that this will help our tech world to be better. I'd like to give myself an advice that please. Allow yourself to learn by doing it and don't be afraid of challenging yourself. Also,、um, having technological literacy is the best way to empower yourself, so keep learning. Since、um, nowadays I'm mostly in AI communities at the moment,、uh, I'd like to see more people who are talking about AI ethics. AI is not only for the developers anymore, but more and more people will be able to use and be affected by the technology. When we question and investigate and d o e s n t take the technology for granted, we can make a better world. And I'd like to make that move and hope to see more people who care about not only what technology can do, but also what we need to be cautious about.